guys we're finally back streaming again it has been a long hiatus self and flares uh we've kind of been away for a few weeks here and there and unfortunately some of the games we wanted to bring you guys there have been some forfeits and some misplanned schedules but finally we are back feels good to be getting the ball rolling again uh welcome flares how are you doing man yeah yeah i'm doing great yeah. and I'm I am super, super excited to get back into this. It's been way too long. Four weeks is four weeks too many in my books. And um, we're getting back to what promises to be a good game. Yeah, so tonight, guys, we've got on the line for you Noobs Inc. against LP Novax. And uh, this is a Premier Division match. If we look at the standings currently, Novax actually doing fairly well for themselves Let they're standing at five wins one one loss yeah maybe you can shove that over onto the screen real quick yeah i'll be two but, seconds uh, no vx is yeah they they currently 75 percent win ratio so they're sitting at, at second place in, in the uh, on the prem table and noob zinc tied for third they currently haven't lost a match though they just have uh uh, yeah, so actually they've played one game less than Novex, but they're five for zero at the moment. And in terms of the 
um, the, the way Premier Division is shaping up, we've got three teams currently who are undefeated. If we exclude the, the one forfeit game, that's Eden, Noobs, and Ecstasy Gaming. And from what we've kind of seen through the previous Cups and, and, and Divisions leading up to this, these are kind of looking like the teams alongside Damage Control somewhat who are looking to be taking the lead in, in the local standings. And um, I think uh, if it must be said, Nova X is probably going to be seen as quite an underdog in this match, especially seeing as they have had quite a number of roster changes. And uh, Flaz, you were a part of the team once. Maybe you can give us a little bit more information on how that's gone on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what the story is with the Nova X team at the moment. Sorry, I'm just having a little bit of issue here with the digital gaming website. It's taking a while to load. Um, I'm not 100% sure what their roster is at the moment, actually, to be honest. But I know they do have some fantastic players. I know John, uh, if he is playing, is an absolutely amazing Roadhog and Diva. Uh, Baldrick's not bad on support. Uh, Cybernox is a decent Reinhardt. I do somewhat agree with you where you say they're going to be going in as the underdogs, although I don't think it's going to be a complete, uh, I'm not quite sure what the word would be, steamroll, I guess, for the, the side of news. Yeah. yeah, they do have they do have the ability to put up a fight, and it'll, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out. Yeah, no, definitely. So, I mean, like I said, Novex are already proving they, themselves quite well on, on the standings. Um, my my only worry when you're facing a team as high caliber as Noobs Inc. is you really need to have explosive DPS players on your team, someone you can really count on to go ham in a couple of team fights here and there. And they they seem to have lost some of those players. So whether they've regained that strength through new players is yet to be seen from our standpoint. I don't think we've really cast it under this new roster for them yet. So I think they're, they're going to still need to prove how their teamwork is holding up under these conditions. Whereas um, on the side of Noobs, of course, we saw they were the first ones to sort of ever take a match off of Eden thus far this year. And, yeah, um, that was huge. They uh, they seem to be firing from all cylinders, and they they really bring something special to the table, whether whether it be uh, in the form of their dive compositions or even their sort of dive defensive compositions, not just attacking. Yeah, um, I'm really sorry, guys. Uh, no matter what I do, it just seems the D DGL website isn't loading for me. Um, but if you guys want to have a look, you just go to the DGL website, you click on leagues, and you click on the DGL Overwatch League, and the, all the team standing and everything will be there. I'm not quite sure what my issue is. Um, and yes, I tend to agree. Uh, I'm quite interested to see if noobs are going to bring out their triple tank again, because, I mean, it's not a roster that you that they're famous for, but it's a roster that works really, really well for them. So I'll be interested to see what they're... I mean, are they going to just use it in the first map and see where it goes from there, or are they going to try something a little bit different? I know also that one of their NLT is not going to be playing for them tonight, so they don't have their normal team comp. So I'm a little bit interested. Yeah, so NLT is is stepping out. Um, I'm not too sure what they're doing in terms of um, swapping uh, sw swapping roles, sorry, but I do know that Grifflet is trying out his hand at, uh, at playing support. So he actually said he was going to be trying something like the Lucio role. So huh. maybe they're maybe <clears throat> they're attempting something like a change in shot callers just to see how that works out. Because I think what Noobs is a little bit worried about is the fact that they're going to be having to uh, build a slightly more solid roster when the time comes to play it. At, uh, at LAN, or even not necessarily at LAN, but uh, sort of a, a local only competition if it ever, ever comes to that. And uh, of course, we, we're talking in terms of the Do Gaming Championships, um, and uh, they have been playing with two internationals so far. So the 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 one one would be um, the, that they've been playing with an international shot caller, so that's going to change their dynamic up quite a lot. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, that's what they're working on tonight. Um, I get the impression it might be. So um, we'll see. Um, maybe they try... Uh, I, I think 
maybe they'll sort of stick to the same composition as just change roles within that. Yeah, I seem to, I think I agree as well. Um, I'm really sorry guys for the delay. Um, I've just had a message now from Grifflet to say they're just waiting on Novax to finish their game. Unfortunately, due to a scheduling mess up, uh, Novax had a game at 8.30 and then they were meant to play Noobs now at 9. But I have got a message here from Grifflet saying two minutes and then we'll be... Uh, then they'll be ready. They're just finishing up their game apparently. They're on first point of Gibraltar or something. So, <clears throat> once yeah, and uh, out, when you when you mention Gibraltar, it's actually been surprising now with these these map pool switch ups. We've seen Gibraltar come out quite a lot more often in these sort of recent uh, few leagues and and cups. But the most interesting for me tonight is. The fact that you said that we're going to be seeing Hanamura first. Yes, we're going to get a and, uh, two CP map. Yeah, so um, we don't get many two CP as is, but I think this is going to be the first time on this stream that we've casted a Hanamura map. Definitely, so I it's think it's going to be a little bit new for us. <laughs> yeah, I think once we might have casted Volskaya. I think that's the only time we've ever casted two CP. I don't even know if we did it together. I know I've casted Volskaya at some point, but. Casting Hanamura is going to definitely be different. Um, I'll be excited to see. We might be seeing a May come out. May often does well on first point Hanamura. We might even see something crazy like a Torbjorn. Um, it depends on how they want to want to hold it. I'm not quite sure. Like, yeah, so, like a... yeah, May sort of kind of be was kind of introduced into the meta on Hanamura specifically internationally. A little while back but I don't know if that's held too much necessarily um, I do know that there's just a very big favor for Tracer at the moment regardless of which map you're playing on just in terms of her ability to distract the opposition enough that your team can can sort of snowball over the rest of their team and uh, of course a lot of diva being played as well so um, we haven't really seen noob play Diva all that often. Um, no. So maybe they'll go go to something older and more more standard. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I agree. And and I mean, I was thinking now while you're saying triple, there's actually nothing wrong with triple tank and uh, standard meta on two CP. It's it's more what we want to see on attack, and if they might they might play dive. Um, I think we've seen noobs try dive a couple times, but not to much success. Um, although they have been practicing for the last two weeks, and I know they have, well, at least Grifflet has said they've done dive a little bit. So I'll be interested to see if they pull that out. Um, that's a common choice you'll probably be seeing. Unless Grifflet wants to play support tonight, we'll probably be seeing him on Winston, someone like Light on Tracer, maybe a Genji. And then your other fairly standard picks, like a Lucia, a Zen, um, and then as your other tank, probably a Zarya, would, or maybe maybe Reinhardt. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so I think that that's probably going to be more of the case for the um, for the payload sections of the, the maps coming out after Hanamura. Um, yeah, I think uh, it's going to be. It's going to be quite an interesting start to the game because Hanamura is going to set the tone for the game and it's uh, we know it can be very punishing and if uh, if Nova X gets something like attack first on Hanamura and they really struggle to break through um, not even necessarily just the first point but, but perhaps the second point it might be really tough for them to recover from that. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold their composure going into that. And uh, I really think that the onus is on them initially to, to set the pace of the game and uh, perhaps pick something more in the way of uh, more that uh, sort of dive orientated and more able to get in the faces of Noobs Inc. very quickly to not allow them to establish dominance for too long. Yes, I very, very much agree. Um... Once again, I apologize, I haven't heard anything, um, but I do know that, it, well, I mean, I'm looking at Overwatch here, it looks like the Cybernox and Baldrick, who are both on the Noobs team, are ending their game of their custom game. 
So I assume that means we'll be able to jump into a lobby soon. Yeah, um, a bit unfortunate. They only started at 8.30. Yeah. We presume that they would be done fairly soon. Looks like the other guys are spectating them, so they'll they'll just give us the word when they're good to go. Um, <laughs> we we at least thought that it would be slightly sooner than this. That's why we started the stream up and and gave you guys this introduction. But uh, you know what they're actually yeah, doing, Scopes? Yeah, noobs are doing one v ones. Okay, uh, they all we can get in a okay. we can get in a bonus. Yeah, no, that bonus casting sense. earlier. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it. Griffith says they're almost done. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but in the meantime, guys, uh, feel free to to uh, let us know your thoughts in the chat. Who you guys are supporting? What you guys have thought of the league so far this year, and and the cast that we've brought you? Any ideas you might have for how to improve things? I know that. My channel has at least been very fortunate to get the quality options so you guys are able to switch that up and, and not suffer the immense uh, buffering all the time that we I've, I've had in the past few years. Um, other than that, uh, there's not actually too many months left in the DGL season. I think uh, it's pretty much um, May, June and July, correct me if I'm wrong. And then, August we start to to wrap up the sort of qualifying stages yeah. and then yeah. off to the off to the championships. So yeah, in October, um, so, uh, right at the beginning of October as well. Right. Yeah, and we we've seen Eden already qualify. They've got their spot from one of the um, uh, from one of the previous cups. They're already into the tournament, and a lot of the other teams of sort of made their way up through to the, the high, high seeds of those those well, high finishing spots rather of those cups already so they haven't been participating in the more recent cups like the, the, the amber one um as far as i can see um so i think it's pretty much just the ladder and prem div so games just scattered every now and then throughout the week and we'll try and bring you all of those they come but for now we yeah. lie and wait. Yeah. Um, I hate to be annoying, but there's a little bit of feedback. I'm not quite sure what's causing it. Um, I can hear, like, hear myself through your... Through friend. mine? Yeah, it's only occasional, though. I, I, it's probably not an issue. Well, if viewers want to let us know if they can... Yeah, it, if then there's anything... We'll try and make a plan. Otherwise, I think we'll just leave it as is for now. Yeah. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I mean, what else is there to talk about? Uh, Gibraltar, I would say, well, if we go from, from the map to, maps uh, first to last, Hanamura is going to be our first map. So um, I'm going to leave that sort of prediction aside for now, but I think Gibraltar sort of would naturally tend to favor noobs a bit more than Nova X because they're... Um, experienced in in the way they move around the map very and, much so uh, in in the way they use their their higher mobility compositions to to deal with um defensive lineups on those sorts of maps so i would tend to favor them on that and and uh, king's row we know they were also very solid against eden on that and they yeah. completely threw them off their game they've shown that they have the versatility to swap from um, all the way from sort of like a three DPS lineup, all the way through to like a one DPS triple tank kind of lineup. So they're kind of happy to do either way, the passive or passive like kind of chunky approach. <laughs> I didn't really know what word to use there. No, I completely um, or agree. The, there. Or like the, or the very fast paced, like in your face approach, and. It's uh, quite difficult uh, when, they, when they're when they changing up between the two to try and get used to the pace of it. Yeah, no, it is, yeah. it is different. And they can really, really throw off a team like that, though, as well. Um, if they can change up between the fast-paced comp 
position and then go back to the slower more. Oh, sorry. Got a little bit distracted there. I was trying to read what Griffith's messages were saying, but it looks like we are into the lobby finally. I should that should pop up on screen soon. Um, the players are just sorting themselves out, which means we're one step closer to starting the game. Scopes, I will hit you with an invite right away. Great stuff. I always look for scopes and then like get confused and then realize yeah, it's SZ. It My name. I need to make better friends with with Jeff. <laughs> Kaplan. You do get one free name change, I think. Yeah, and I used it like pretty much bashing my keys in because I couldn't <laughs> find a name that, that worked out, so yeah, I yeah, kind that... of didn't read the fine print carefully enough before I changed it. Um, yeah, so uh, we are into the lobby, guys. And uh, is Nianfo? Confused? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure he, no, he's meant to be on yeah. he's meant to be on noob sync. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> I'm just getting like like deja vu here. Yeah, no, he definitely left. He I definitely was, left. In the past, I was so used to seeing Nianfo on Novex, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Um, and for those of you guys who haven't necessarily watched these teams before or maybe just haven't seen them play in, in a while, um, the, uh, the DPS players on the side of noobs who I'm sure Flaz will give a lot of attention to with the camera, uh, like Alucan and Light. Very, uh, two very exciting players. So, be interested to see how they um, swap up their heroes tonight. Both of them actually play a very mean Genji, and they swap between them depending what the other one wants to play or what suits the other player at the time. I know so it's, that, it's kind of interesting. I always, actually. I always love seeing that, but. Let's see if uh, let's see if my prediction of the local orientated role changes comes about, and and we actually do see Grifflet on Lucio. We're, it'll be kind of sad because then we won't get to see him on Winston, right? Yeah, which is what I like. It's what you expect, especially if they're running dive. But um, I don't know. I, Lucio's as important as Winston in a dive comp, so I don't know. I was just like I was trying to imagine what goes on in their voice chat when Light and like Luca are fighting over who gets to play again here, I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> So yeah, Mongers I mean, I is this, it just depends on the on the circumstances. Yeah. Mongers is the the sub right for NLT. And I'm having a look at his profile yeah. he looks like uh he looks like very much a support main. He's got hours on. Yeah, yeah. So he he was previously there, one of their support players. So he moved to the sub position. So I think they're now uh, because he's a local player, they're going to be subbing him back in, and then seeing maybe how like the Grifflet Mongers support composition works out. Um, mm, okay. Yeah. So that's that's kind of my feeling, and then uh, maybe move Sheep onto kind of like a more of a flex. Um, less kind of uh, critical role, if I can call it that. Obviously, flex role is always going to be important, but it's sort of less to the kind of structure of the, the strategy that they're trying to put together. Um, and uh, But we know Nianfo is also a support player, so they actually have quite a few options available to them. Yeah, they have a very, uh, very flexible team. Yeah, but but I imagine that Nianfo will eventually move over to DPS with like a Luke for local competition. So um, yeah, very much. Who so. knows? Maybe maybe we'll see that. Maybe Light will hang up his uh, DPS gloves tonight. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, it's just yeah, the time's going on, and I'm like <laughs> trying to yeah, no, um, don't worry, build, I, up all, build up all these theories because. Um, it's like a yeah, history a channel so. episode. <laughs> anyway, it looks like from the side of noobs, we've got the normal roster, as we've said, except for NLT replaced with Mongers. And then for the side of Novax, we weren't quite sure who the who was going to be playing. But it looks like Cybernox is the, their captain. He's been with them since the beginning, since back in Arena Season 2 even. John, who was the 
uh, the Roadhog slash Diva, um, even Zarya that I was talking about earlier. Death Seed's a name I've seen before, but I don't think for Nova X. I believe Death Seed was in XTC, I think. I'm not too sure. One of the other teams, yeah, I can't remember exactly. I think he swapped over. Yeah, um, Baldrick has been with Cybernox since the beginning, and Kazu, Kaz, Kazuhao, um, Kazuho, Kazuho, Kazuho. Kazuho. Yeah, no. There we yeah, go. Yeah, no. But so, but Death Seed is very clearly Reinhardt main, and uh, and Kazuho being what looks to be Genji main, which is actually very cool because. You need a 100% Genji main when you're going up against teams like this. Yeah. Um, all we hope is that if they do bring out the Genji, that uh, they're able to deal with uh, the Roadhog. <laughs> the Roadhog counter pick. Yeah, although now it looks like Caliban's having issues. Little bit worried here. Um, we are running a little bit over time, but uh, remember this is only a best of three, so... It shouldn't take too much longer here. Jeepers, I'm running out of like things to fill the time with. I'm just so ready to get into into a game on Hanamura. That's all I want right now. Yeah. Looks like Caliburn is finally in. And Caliburn always confuses me because there's an international player, like top 500 player with the same nick, and I always think it's him. <laughs> Noobs but, has been uh, recruiting. Yeah, it's uh, he seems to be playing a lot of Diva, which is which is nice to see. And uh, Cybernox, I don't know, maybe they they put him over to. I imagine he would go over to the. It's either going to be him or, or Death Seed, but maybe because Cybernox, um, I, I'm saying either one of those two on the Rhinot, but I'm saying maybe Death Seed moves over to the Rhinot because Cybernox has oh, look, more going. competitive experience in this team. Yeah, I agree. Um, I guess we'll find out very soon. Uh, let me just make sure I've got the overlays in order. Uh, I believe that... No, that's not the right side. There we go. That's the right side. So, noobs versus noobs. Noobs are the blue team, which means they are going to be starting on... Oh, my goodness. They're going to be starting on defense, right? No. Wow, you sure are rusty, man. Jeez. No, <laughs> it's been forever. Yeah, no. Red team the start of the first map. Gonna be attacking. Yeah, so I was right. Yeah, so Hanamura, guys, 2 CP. Yeah, I mean, we it's actually like a bit sad that we get excited about 2 CP, but it's just the fact that we haven't casted it. Yeah, um, what I'm excited for, I'm excited for them to take first point in like the first three seconds, and then for noobs to, set, to defend second point for like seven or eight minutes. That's what I'm excited for. Well, I mean, that's in like top tier matches. That's often what you see anyway. It I know. Seems like really struggling to to like push out that last bit of uh, that final third tick on that second point because it's just like yeah, it's just so difficult. No, it ends up and, turning uh, into. And uh, the was about to Lucio? do the, the dirty Symmetra pick. It just looks like he's switched up onto. No. Oh no, he's just gone Lucio to bring Mongus back. It looks like. A little bit of pro tricks here. You switch to Lucy, you can speed boost someone back. Is he gonna go ah, on Diva? What? I am so confused. I think they're just as confused. But anyway, it looks like we're ready to start here. John coming out on the Tracer. Oh, or switching to Widow, actually. This is very interesting. Widow coming out on attack on first point on Hanamura. We've um, seen John do this before. I believe we have. I just... I don't know. It looks like he's going to be looking for a pick onto Light, although he must remember that he does have Deflect up to deal with something like that. Kazuho as well going to be challenging Light there up on his little balcony. As here, John now looking for the high ground. He's going to be looking for Nyanfo in the window there. Oh, he just doesn't get the shot off as Laika Luke manages to pick him off. Very, very, very fantastic positioning there for Laika Luke. Actually, you guys must pay attention to this. This is quite a difficult spot to get up to. You can do it with a couple of rocket jumps, but it's a very interesting place, and I don't think many people expect to see a soldier up there, although Kazuho knows exactly what to do when their soldier is up there, and he dashes straight into him and finishes him off with a quick dash melee. Yeah, that was a pretty key pick there coming out from Kazuho. I was very impressed with that, uh, even though they're losing, starting to lose a few numbers now. Um, quite good work from him there, but unfortunate that the rest of his team couldn't uh, convert there. I don't think John here on the Tracer is going to be able to do too much work. Maybe he'll just try and get into position for the next push. 
Yeah, although it does look like Light is going to be ready to get in behind him. Although, actually, no, John. Oh, a huge pick there by Light. Fantastic shuriken there at the last second. That's going to really I, delay I, them coming into the next one. I love how Griffith was just standing perfectly still there, and John sort of just dashed over his, <laughs> like, bounced off his head. No worries in the world. As it does look like now they're ready to come in again, and like a Luke, once again, very, very high up on the high ground. He's been listening to Stylos' videos. If you want to win, you secure the high ground. Although it does actually look like he's going to drop down now. Sheep getting right in the way. He's on 97% of his Graviton. He's going to be ready to use that. I wouldn't actually be surprised to see it come out very, very soon here, comboed with something like uh, Light's ult. Um, as you can see, actually, he's getting into position behind the door. He's going to be out of sight, out of mind. Uh, although, yeah, actually, melting through box. John. Oh, here it comes, like I said. Maybe going... Oh, the two support ults coming out, though, and it doesn't look like Genji's going to be able to get too much work with that. Although, Light actually is... I mean, hit with the nano boost now as well. He does manage to pick up two uh, Death Seed falling and Caliburn falling now at the last second to Mongus as well. And actually, another excellent cleanup here from Noobs. Yeah, the, the the fact that they were able to drop the sound barrier like five seconds later just secured them the fight. I don't even think they even really needed the sound barrier there. They were starting to um, turn the fight of that, that battle already. And uh, it was actually working out quite well for them as as Baldrick dropped that Transcendence into the Graviton. Um, but unfortunately for them, Noobs Inc. are just doing a much better job of building their ultimates up. So they've got to try and bait them out before they go in, sadly. Yeah, it is awkward. Um, Cybernox, though, now sitting on almost 90% of his ult. Kazuho um, has his Genji Blade up as well. We might be looking at a combo there. Um, but other than that, I just don't really know what... Uh, Nova X has with 60 seconds left on the clock as well. Here comes uh, Like a Luke with his ult. He picks up an immediate triple kill, followed to actually make it a quadruple kill, just missing his jump there onto the high ground to get to secure the fifth kill there. But I mean, it looks like every time Nova X have tried to come in, they've just been shut down by a remarkable use of ults and abilities um, here by noobs. As we're actually going to see Like a Luke make his way up onto this little high ground spot here. Sorry, I'm missing John picking off light in the background. Um, That's very key. They need to go now, they need to work off that kill. They have the they have the graviton to work with. They have the dragon blade. They need to go. And here comes the dragon blade. Follow the uh, into the graviton and ready picking off two. Griffler going down there, which is huge. I was interested to where Kazuho sort of just walked onto the point there. He did have his sword up, but he seemed to be ignoring Lucio. Maybe he just didn't quite see him. Like a Luke picking off Baldrick now. Light doing a fantastic gash there. And this might be it. This might be what they need. Although SC does manage to get the hammer down. He gets it onto Like a Luke as well. Taking out that nano boost to target's gonna be huge. If, though it does look like Like a Luke's gonna manage to escape. And now, I mean. Yeah, he just isn't on the point. I think there might have been a little <laughs> yeah, bit. Yeah, no, they're. Their uh, target focus there towards the end was just a little bit sloppy. And uh, they didn't really have. A lot of firepower because they they switched all into um, quite quite a heavy tank lineup there towards the end. Did no VX and uh, with the Rodog going down, they really just they lost all that firepower and didn't really have much much more to work with after they had expended those those first two ultimates. They didn't get enough value out of the Graviton. One one kill is really not what you want to. Uh, be looking at, especially when you only have uh, one other ultimate to follow that up. Yeah, it does look like now they're having a little bit of issues here. I'm just reminding them. No, not control shift. It's control shift equals, isn't it? Not control shift plus. I don't know. It does look like we're going to be playing the waiting game once again here. Um, it's a little bit awkward here, actually. It looks like they're going to be going into a game 5v4. Light does say that it's okay, he'll be back in time. It looks like we're going to be oh, seeing well, Jump come out on the... They are on attack this time, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's not too worrying about setting up. It does look like John is going to be coming out on the Symmetra this game, which is different. I mean, you've you've got to go like full blown defense here if you know. Oh, he's actually going for the sneaky play. They don't have pro symmetry yeah, tips here, guys. Uh, oh, unfortunately, it is broken. It. Yeah, no, they're gonna have to do a full hold. So there's a sneaky trick you can do with symmetry. You can put your turrets inside this uh, dispenser thingy, Majigi. 
What are they called? Uh, vending machine, although the glass has been broken, so unfortunately John won't be able to do that. Um, strange positioning here, actually. I think he's just put his turrets all up to the front so he can charge ult very quickly. Yeah, it's not going to work very well with the uh, Winston shooting it down immediately, and uh, there's going to be a lot of pressure on Caliber now to keep everyone topped up. And yeah, very, very much are, so. You're going to have to do a lot of work from the top there as well, keeping all of them, uh, all of the noobs team back out of that choke point. Yeah, I very much agree, and it looks like we're going to be seeing a repeat of what we saw last game. Kazuho on the high ground, although this time he gets the best of light. He says, you made it this last time, but it's my turn now to shine. As Kazuho, he's going to be looking for sheep as well, takes him down. That's two fantastic picks there for Kazuho, and that's going to shut down that push completely. They're going to have to pull out. Um, and like I said earlier, it does look like they are actually running a May. Um, very good for splitting up the team and stuff. Although, when you have a composition like Soldier, Genji, and Tracer, you almost want your team to be split up. So, uh, the May might want to be... Might... Sorry, the May might change off uh, unless you can charge your ult nice and quickly. Yeah, not not getting all that much in the way of ult charge at the moment, but it's not too serious because she's doing her job of keeping noobs back. The, the thing I'm, I'm kind of wondering about is why noobs have got a, a soldier at the moment because it doesn't really fit the current status quo of their, their composition. They doesn't really have much to stand behind. It's just really a dive. Composition. Yeah, I'm not quite and sure what uh, happened there. Noob spent ages standing outside the front door, not really doing anything, and then they all jumped in now, and it doesn't look like it's quite working out. Um, Grifflet getting taken down, uh, I know, as they were coming in. And Sheik gets taken down in the background as well. Kazuho doing absolutely fantastic work here. Uh, it's just Light now left dancing around the point, and I mean, he's going to get taken down if he doesn't make his way out there. And all they've done here is charged up the ults here for Nova X. I mean, I'm not quite sure... Quite I think they're kind of just relying on the raw talent of the of the dive heroes at the moment, so waiting on light and like Luke to get those picks. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a tale of uh, two kind of uh, it, they they kind of split in their composition. One one half is working towards one objective, and the others are doing something else, but now it seems yeah. like they're finally starting to, to get some value out of it. Yeah, Light managing to get a nice pick off in the background now. We are witnessing here some pro Torbjorn gameplay here. All you need to do is hammer your turret and you can kill Light, one of the best players in South Africa. He's now going to be looking for Nyanfo. Griffla goes down to the turret as well. A huge, huge plays here by Torbjorn, looking to pick off Nyanfo now in the background. Is he going to be able to do it? It looks like he might. He's just dancing around Nyanfo, although Nyanfo, you must remember, can heal himself. And Cybernox put to sleep there. That ends the pro Torbjorn gameplay for today, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to get finished off here with a nice grenade. Um, but then again, noobs weren't actually able to make it in. I mean, we laugh at the Torbjorn, but it actually, he played in a very, very important role in, st in stopping that oh, a huge wall there, blocking the grenade as well. Could this be what I think it is, Scopes? Could this well, be... you know, uh, they've, they've wasted a long time trying to get in here with the composition that didn't work, and now uh, we actually have a May ultimate to work against. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, Griffith's gonna get very, gonna get picked off very quickly here. Although Light oh, going no. huge, I'm so sorry, I missed that. That was a huge, huge ult there by Light, and it looks like he's gonna finish off Kazuho now in the end, and that's gonna be exactly what noobs need. It's just the Torbjorn turret. Although actually, they do have a. Never mind, the teleport is a little bit too far out. Sorry, I may have got a little bit too excited <laughs> I there. I don't know where you thought that was coming from. <laughs> no. Right, they. That was pretty sad because they had the right ultimates to work with, and then they didn't drop them in time. They waited a little too long. We, we heard that May Blizzard coming out right at the end there, but already Light had torn up half of the Nova X team. And it looks like we're going to be able to see this play of the game as Genji, what I missed earlier. Um, and this is exactly what they needed. It's a huge, huge play. You see, followed up from the uh, Lucio ult. He's nanobladed as well, or nano boosted rather as well. He manages to get in, he shuts down the May before she can get her ult up, which is exactly what I needed, and a nice two swings there on to uh, Death yeah, Seed. Deploying a, deploying a May Blizzard that late is never going to work against a pro Genji. Yeah. To see justice done is its own reward. Alright, let me just switch on up over to a different screen while I... Quickly update the score. Got quite an active chat today. 
Yeah, so I mean, like I was saying previously before the, the match started, the onus is kind of on Nova X to prove themselves here. And I think with Noobs Inc. shuffling around their roster a little bit and not quite having a quite a sort of decisive attacking lineup initially there on Hanamura that that probably gave the impression that it was a little closer than it should be for for some of the the part of the the first map there but i think overall i mean you saw once light and um like a luke started to to get uh, rolling that they just did a lot of work and Nobex really struggled to deal with the, the pressure that those two were putting out. Yeah, um, although on the when Nobex were on the defense, the I mean, like I, I didn't actually fully analyze their composition, but looking back on it now, a Torbjorn, a Symmetra, and uh, who else was there? And the May actually did really, really worked uh, well against Noobs' composition. They weren't quite ready. Um, to go up against it, I think they were a little bit confused. There were times where they were distracted, and I mean that if you're distracted and you're not dealing with a Torbjorn turret, it can just sit there and pick you off one by one. Um, Symmetra almost. Yeah, as well. well the, yeah, well, the thing is with those defensive heroes, they're going to be great against the likes of the soldier and the, and the Anna and the Lucio, who have to pretty much run in ground level through that choke and didn't have any shield to help them out. Um, Whereas the the rest of the noobs team could pretty much just jump over and run around the left side of the map, um, and I think that's why they struggled initially, because three of their heroes couldn't really get into um, into through that choke point quick enough with the likes of the Winston and the Genji, and mm. it's uh, as soon as they they sort of bypassed that May and that Symmetra that whole defensive structure sort of came crumbling down. Yeah, and it does look yeah. like we're ready to go over into our next map, which is going to be on Watchpoint Gibraltar. Um, oh. Uh, having an interesting chat here in chat. I'm just going to ignore that. Um, between Cybernox and Deathseed here. So Watchpoint Gibraltar, we discussed this beforehand very very much a noob's favored map uh they've they've been excellent with when it comes to payload um and i mean their defense here up on the high ground is something insane i remember we witnessed they also use server room a lot which is something we haven't seen in a long time uh the server is on the wrong side my apologies apologies sorry okay there we go fixed Yeah, so Noob's probably going to be looking to deploy that, that same kind of strategy in uh, once it gets to the hangar phase. But, I mean, if it even does get to that phase, um, that's probably going to be the critical stage for Novex as to whether they can really um, stamp their mark on this map. You know, Griffith uh, might be running Widow. I mean, he's running out of the spawn I bit. So. I'm a little bit excited. Or is he? No. Yeah, no, I doubt that. He's going to be reined in quite quickly. <laughs> it is beautiful here. He might do. He's, uh, he's on attack. No, I, I, I don't think I, I recall ever seeing Griffin on DPS flare. <laughs> I don't know, I've seen him yeah. when I played with him in comp and stuff before, I've, he's run Widow. But uh, I'm not too sure. If it's Often Widow is a character on attack that you use. You'll take her out, you use her to spot, and you might get one pick, and if you don't get that one, and then if you get that pick, you can easily go in quickly. But if you don't get that one pick, then um, Widow's not really that useful, unless you're going to stick with her for the rest of the game, which you don't often see. So I wouldn't be too surprised if Grifflet uh, just sticks his head out the door, tries, and then will come back, which does look he's like he's going to do. Yeah, maybe something different that they're, they're trying. Um, it doesn't necessarily tie in with the, the rest of their heroes, but if you can get a quick pick, then then why not? Um, yeah, although it does look like they're all going to be hiding behind that Reinhardt shield, and you can see Griffith going straight back to the spawn. He says, I'm not going to bother. 
Um, Cybernox are getting knocked off the high ground. Very, very good positioning there by the Winston. Knocking them all off, in fact. And it's going to force them to drop down maybe a little bit earlier than they wanted to. Put to sleep as well now as they're going to have to fall down. Allowing noobs to basically just walk it underneath the bridge. Here, and Cybernox. Griffith actually, I said he was going back to spawn, but it looks like he's still running that Widow. Um... I'm surprised actually he's left like a Luke to take Winston. That's normally a role you'd see Griffith on. And does look yeah, like it's a, kind uh, of strange. I don't think you would be very uh, well practiced on something like Widow. But yeah, I mean. Uh, well, as you say that, he gets picked off by Kazuho, but it's like fine because Light is going to get back in the way and deal with him very, very quickly. Cybernox putting his shield up just a little bit too early, which is he's definitely going to suffer the fate of that Tracer and a. Uh, Genji right on his face, and now it does look like Genji does have his ultimate, and he's going to be using it in server room. It's a very, very, very bad position to be if you're John right now. Um, fantastic deflect there. Although, I don't think he got the worth he quite wanted for that. Although, we must remember this whole time, while this fight has been going on in the corner here, they have been pushing the payload, and it does look like they're going to very, very quickly now move it on to first point. Well, not first point, first, first checkpoint, I guess. Yeah, I think Light kind of realized... John on the Roadhog there was the last impact player remaining for Novak, so you kind of just had to dispatch him and then they would be good to go in terms of finishing off that first objective. And even though he didn't get the kill, he sort of kept the Roadhog busy for long enough that they could just pay push the payload right through to the end. And I think this is just really, this, this whole match screams of falling into the comfort zone of noobs once again. Very much so. I would have thought Widow would have been out of that comfort zone, but I mean, she seems to be fitting in seamlessly into the team. John, though, does manage to pick off Nyanfo, which is quite an important pick. That's a healer down beside Noobs, although Light uh, repays that with a, taking down a support, uh, DPS player. Although, oh, John just missing his hook. A very, very, very well timed blink there by Tracer, but it does look like in the end it's not going to be enough. Uh, sheep getting taken down. Well, not actually managing to make it out, but it doesn't look like Noobs are going to be able to finish off that push. Yeah, so I mean, that, that hang, this hangar phase was only sort of 15, 20 seconds long before the, the kill started to come in, and look how far the payload has got yet. I think uh, Novex really want to start getting some high ground control now, or it's good, things are going to get really scary going up against <laughs> this sort of composition. With the still running the Winston and the Genji, um, they can pretty much just build ultimates for days. Look at Sheep there at the back, they're building his ultimate as well. Very much so, and here comes the nano boosted Genji. He's going to be dashing, and he's finished to pick out John. Although the Lucio uh, dropping the beat does come, but not in time. Light and Lyca Luke cleaning up. Luke had completely disappeared. He was he went for a bit of a safari exploring the other side of the map, but it does actually look like that paid off as he managed to come in from the back, completely unexpected to the side here of Novax. And now you said Grifflet doesn't play DPS, but he does look like he's now onto Soldier. So, they're very much exercising that change of roles, like you said earlier. Yeah, maybe it's just the fact that no one else could play Reinhardt, so Griffith had to play Reinhardt first. <laughs> but, uh, now Griffith's putting the, the change into effect. So it very is much so. To see. Um, but it's kind of been light and cheap that have been dominating thus far. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on Griffith and see if he proves himself on that DPS role. <laughs> Yes, I must agree. It does look like now that they're going to be coming up against a scary composition here of ults here for the side of uh, Novax. They do have that Graviton Surge, they do have a Roadhog ult, which, I mean, comboed with the Graviton Surge is a huge amount of damage. And if they really need to, they can nano boost the Roadhog ult as well. And, oh no! The deflect of the Graviton! A huge deflect there by Light, and that's going to be just what they need now. Mickey off two tanks at the ready. Ro uh, Roadhog having been forced to respawn. Kazuho coming out the gate here. Is now he's changed on to McCree. Although it does look like Lycalix is going to get pushed off here by... When are Lycalix going to drop the ult? Uh, it does look like they're trying, but I mean, it's not going to be enough. I think I just went out of the map there a little bit. Light managing to pick off Cybernox, and I mean, we were saying they had a huge battery of ults, but all they did was throw it into a Genji deflect, and yeah, that was that was very strange to me. I mean, I, although the Graviton deflect would have been sort of devastating to them, they I think they got a little bit flustered by it, but I mean. Even though that happened, they, they needed to deploy all the all those ults right there and then because they were losing ground so quickly there. Payload barely stopping at all and no resistance there coming out the end from Novex. Yeah, I think 
right there at the end, uh, Leica, Luke, and Light did huge, huge work. Grifflet uh, picked up the PA and called over the announcement, I need to clean up on Isle Gibraltar, and I mean, that's exactly what they got. Light doing a fantastic job on Genji, hit with that nano boost there by Diampho. I mean, there was almost nothing that could stop him. Uh, you saw the first time he pulled out the blade, he jumped into the face of Roadhog and didn't do as much damage as he needed to do. But, I mean, now, when he's left un... Not quite sure what the word is, un... Uh, when there's no one in the way to stop him, he will absolutely tear um, anything put in front of him apart. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it doesn't even matter that he sort of didn't get any kills that first. Dragon no, Blade I mean, he's still did shut them down. He's building up his ultimate so fast anyway that he's having them almost at every fight. Yeah, it does look like we've got a little bit of a Carnage 2.0 here. He runs Genji on attack and defense, and I mean, anywhere in between. He's And he's been doing a fantastic job of it. I mean, yeah, really, I mean, I the only thing they're stopping anything. up here is the, now taking the Zenyatta and keeping most of the, the lineup the same. And I think they're just pretty much trying to... Um, get into, a, into their comfort zone as they change heroes around. That's all I can see them doing. They're pretty much just reworking their current strategies with different with uh, different players on different heroes. Yes, I must agree. It does now look like Kazuho is going to try contest as his Genji, although he gets shut down by a Winston. Genji vs Winston is never a matchup you want to be in. Um, <laughs> I think it does actually look like he's able to take him down though with the help of Caliburn Light gonna be wanting to dash right out there. Sheep as well also now a little bit in the danger zone is a fantastic deflect finishes him off. Really, really well played by Kazuho here. And he's actually showing light what showing light up a little bit. Are we Looks seeing like a throw coming out here from noobs? <laughs> I'm very confused. To hit the start. Oh and Kazuho takes the Genji 1v1. That's gonna be a stab in the back of uh, light and I'm not quite sure what came out there. I think maybe they were a little bit overconfident. They didn't quite expect uh, Nova X to come out as strong as they did. And yeah, I mean they were so far forward and going up against the Winston and a, a Diva, you're gonna struggle to to put out much DPS. <laughs> and I mean this is the Kazuho show now. He's doing exactly what like look I mean sorry Light was doing last game. He's got his ult up nice and early, and here it comes. He's gonna be looking into the back line. Unfortunately, though, they do manage to make it out in time. I don't think Nyamfu is quite going to escape. Kazuho picking up wonderful two there. Griffith on the high ground, unsure of what quite of what quite to do. Um, is he just... Yeah, they're just not contesting. It does look like Sheep now managing to pick up Kazuho. Um, I think they might be able to turn it around after this. They're going to shut down this Lucio. Baldrick's going to be met with a lightning gun. Although, I mean, the shield does actually save him. Is he going to make it out on 2 HP? It looks like he does. That's huge. Um, and like Luke realizing it's huge, I think he's going to take a little break here to enjoy his Hello. peanut butter. Yeah, and surprisingly enough, now that uh, Kazuo has, has expended his Dragon Blade, the uh, ultimate stack has actually gone in favor of noobs, despite the fact that they were getting rolled initially. They always seem to be holding up the ultimate. It's very quickly. Oh, sneaky little... Pulse bomb there. Fantastic pulse, pulse bomb there from Sheep. Picking off two. Grifflet also picking off Kazuho there in the background. Showing us that he can actually play Soldier. Although John now, he's going to be dropping down. He's going to be looking for Laika Luke. Um, although, I mean, the bubbles and... Here comes Light, sorry, on the Genji. He's going to be dashing into the background. Uh, unfortunately, not quite getting anyone. I don't think Blade versus two tanks is often the way you want to go. Kazuho managing to finish him off with a nice dash. Uh, Death Seed as well, doing his work as Winston. They're just struggling to get onto the payload. They're very, very good at engaging. They seem to have no problem engaging the noobs players. It's just engaging them and trying to push the payload at the same time, which they're struggling with. I don't know how Mongus is still alive, actually. Okay, yeah, and finally, they finally gets dealt with sheep, yeah. And here comes Griff with his ult. Lucio ult there from both teams. Uh, although it does look like Death Seed managing to pick him off with his ult. And we did see a nano boosted Genji as well coming out light now. It's gonna be his chance to shine here. He needs to pick off He needs to pick off John in order to get that ult charge, which just doesn't seem to be coming. Kazuho now using his ult, managing to pick off Mongus. There's too much happening, I cannot keep up. Uh I think this is just a Genji show, actually that's what it is. It, it's a battle of who's got the better Genji, and at the moment it looks like Light is struggling a little bit. 
But then again, we have to remember that there's only 25 seconds left on the clock. And with Sheep picking off Death Seed there, I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to get back in time to put, give us a, another convincing push. Yep, well they've got the Diva to stall, so let's see what they can bring out. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have many ultimates to work with, and... Uh, Ooh, a huge sleep there, actually. The Sheep barrier. although managing to get out. Yeah, and Sheep taking down Baldrick, I think, secures that for them. Cybernox is going to be the next to go down. Uh, Rodog's a fantastic target for a tracer when he doesn't have his hookup. In fact, sheep. Oh my goodness, did they manage to sneak it in? It. Light was too busy pulling out his sword out of the sheath to get in the way of the payload. I, that was completely well done. I didn't even expect them to make it. I could see it was moving, but I just. I assumed that somebody would have got on it, and that's very, very embarrassing for noobs. Yeah, I think they kind of underestimated the amount of time that was left there. <laughs> No, they weren't the only ones, I did too. Just how tanky uh, a Winston and a Diva can be on points, and no one really contesting that towards the end. Very much so. Now they're going to be struggling a little bit. They need to find another choke to hold them at. It seems what Noobs is doing, what, what noobs is doing at the moment. Uh, John, get in the back on there. Life no at the moment. Sheep, another fantastic pulse bomb there, picking off Zarya and Cybernox. Um, yeah, as you said, like, no fear at all. He's dashing in there on, like, 2 HP. And he doesn't actually die there. And here comes the ult here from Grifflet. He's going to be looking for fuel, though. Kazuho just picks him off. Kazuho actually playing a fantastic Genji. And it looks like they might even make it onto the second point here. And here comes the Genji ult here from Kazuho. He manages to pick up Mongi. He's going to be looking for Sheep next. You can see he's looking around very, very rapidly. Sheep does manage to escape there. Oh, the deflects, though. And it does look, I mean, all they need to do is take a like a Luke here and they can get this across the point. There's just not enough people on the point to contest. Like a Luke put to sleep. Although now it does look oh. like they've had time oh, to yeah, come in. Let's turn around. This is the turnaround they need. Light picking off one, although the Lucio. Oh, John, a huge triple kill! Although like a Luke still managed to remain alive thanks to his bubble and. <laughs> Some interesting crab spam going on here. As John does go down, and a fantastic Diva ult there, but I'm not quite sure if they're going to be able to turn it into anything here, as they seem to be trickling in one by one onto the point. Yeah, definitely an issue that they've trickled now, because I think uh, after that Diva bomb, although as good as it was, it was never going to result in them finishing off that second objective, and they needed to kind of pull out quicker there, so that they were able to regroup and I give it one is just last melting go. them one by one here. He's going to sneak out their fantastic little jump. And now we're going to be able to see if they've got, with 9 seconds left, they're going to be able to do it again. 9 seconds, 5 meters, can they do it? Can always count from D.Va. Although it does look like, like the Luke's going to be in the back line there, he's going to be pushing them back. Uh, John now out of his mech, I don't think he can do too much. Although here does come an ultimate here from Griff, which is exactly actually what they need here. Uh, managed to pick off two light as well, managing to pick off two sheep, finishing off Zarya in the end, and that does look like that's going to be the end of the game. Yeah, it's, uh, I wouldn't say a clinical performance from noobs because they were kind of loose through the initial stages of that defense, and I think just having a little bit of fun roaming around for kills and whatnot. Um, but when it counts, showing that they can can pull together and then I I think definitely just the rate that they that they're building ultimates and the precision with which they're uh, they're targeting enemy heroes here together just uh, just shows you the experience difference between the two teams very much so and that I think concludes tonight's games thank you very very much for everyone in the chat for sitting through Yeah, well done to uh, noobs who remain undefeated now in Premier Division 6 and 0. And, yeah, uh, it's definitely an number we'll get to Hopefully we'll get to see them against the, the, the likes of Ecstasy and Eden again soon. And yes. uh, we'll be sure to, to bring you that. But yeah, guys, uh, sorry for the initial wait tonight. There was a bit of a delay waiting for the other match. And uh, yeah, this was the only match we had available for you tonight. So yeah, until next time. Yeah, I think the next game, or I think the next round of games rather, is Thursday night. So we'll be seeing, we'll be speaking to the teams and seeing what games we can bring you. 
I'm not quite sure about the availability and everything, but if you guys want to stay in touch, it'll be on Twitter, it'll be on Facebook, um, or in the South African, the various South African Discord servers. And with that, I think we're ready to end. Thank you very much again, everyone. Thank you, Scopes. Thank you for the players. And thank you to DGL for making this all happen. Cheers, guys. for error. No room for mistakes. You need total control. Your success is determined by your grit. It takes thousands of hours perfecting your moves. And only the strong survive. You think you've paid your dues? You think you're ready to enter the arena? Think again. This is the Telcom Digital Gaming League. This is where legends fight till the last second where the action explodes straight through your system.